Hello, hello. Welcome back. I have had a peanut butter cookie, and we are good to go. Let's do it. Also, I didn't actually look at what this was. I was just very excited to steal it. Oh, yes, right. Small round optics. I knew that. Silk string. Mm. <laughs> Hats and wigs are displayed in the shop window. No. Hats. I like hats. Let's, let's talk to a hat person. By that, a person who makes hats, not a person made of hats. Tick, tick, tick. Ooh! Whoa. Your song is so energetic. Oh, hello. This is a fine young boy. How can I help you, lad? Oh boy, I don't know where to start, ma'am. I'm lost in time, the pug's still my dog, and I need to say to Ben Franklin, I don't know what to do! Now just relax, laddie. My name is Tattle Tail Tella. Tattle Tail Tella. First of all, I said it right the first time and I'm thrilled about that, but I just love the way that it rolls off your tongue. And I know everything about everyone. Just tell me what you want to know. First off, dog. Priorities. Keep them in order. That awful I'm a pug stole my dog. Have you heard anything about that? Oh my, yes. I heard just a while ago the pug's got a new dog. I'm so sorry, little boy. You'll have to forget about him. Oh, you'll forget about him in time. That's actually even dark. That's darker. What do you mean? I can't forget Lockjaw. He's my best friend. Oh, didn't you know? Dogs never come out of Pen Mansion. Ugh, not the same way. Oh, that's just wrong very displeased about this. He wasn't feeling well. Ben is perfectly fine. After all, he did give us the excellent doctrine of personal mellowness and all. But that's not the whole story, no sir. I heard Ben and his wife Deborah are having problems. Yes sir, she's always leaving the house to go somewhere. Some people say she's seeing another man. Some people say it's that poor Richard. Oh, but I'd never say anything like that, no sir. Tell me, Miss Tailteller, have you- have the pugs always been this rotten? Oh yes, when old Hug Pug- <laughs> The first, I assume, was here. I forgot that I called him Hug Pug. Things were even worse. I guess we're just lucky that Hug Pug the second spends so much time powdering his wig instead of making us miserable. That's not great. Too sweet. Well, I'm a very highly respectable member of this community. Some people call me a gossip, but that's not true. Nelly the sewing shop says I'm a gossip. But what do you expect from someone who drove her husband to an early grave by scolding him so much? Holy shit, this lady. Penny calls me a gossip too, but she's just jealous because she is owes debts and I don't. And don't believe General Lee stuffed either. He doesn't like me because I know he's got a dishonorable discharge from the army. Anyway, I'm not a gossip. Wow. Wow. Lady. Oh. Can I, I just... Can I give you some pebbles? I know I can. But I want to. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> what do you think of her, Pepper? There's something strange about this one. Good or bad, Pepper? Okay, I'm just gonna walk away. This is gonna very slowly... Later! Okay. Ye old sprouts and rice. Neat. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, hold up. Oh god, hold on, I need a second. Okay, so I remember very little about playing this from before, other than I loved it. But there is a puzzle somewhere in this fucking scene, and I am gonna go batch it once I realize what it is, because it vexed me to no end. <sighs> okay, I'm good. Let's, let's uh, say hi to this lady, whose name I already forgot, but it's probably some bad play on 
words about her weight or pickles. Soy flour, tofu. What do you tell me about tofu? Bean curd. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, please. Why... Why is tofu one of the words? I wanna know. I need to... I'm genuinely curious what the fuck a cabbage cookie is, though. I'm writing that down. I'm gonna look that up. I swear to god, if I make cabbage cookies... Oh no, it, it, went, it went forward. Hold on. Cabbage cookies. I gotta write down cabbage cookies. Cabbage cookies. There we go. Oh, that was kind of involuntary. <laughs> <laughs> you don't seem to be affected by the mass lunacy that's plagued this colony. I believe you actually shuddered at the mention of tofu. Don't highlight it again. We know what it is. It was the cabbage cookies that made me shudder, ma'am. But you're right. I haven't been affected by it. You haven't either, have you? No, thank heavens. Nice to meet you. I'm Goody Gumdrops. Okay, that's actually a really cute name. I own this fine establishment. If there's anything I can do, let me know. Actually, there is. I wonder if you could answer a few questions for me? Oh my. Well, I'll certainly do my best. What do you want to know? Oh, she's so nice. Tell me about my dog! Even though you were probably inside. My dog, Lockjaw, got kidnapped. The pugs just... <laughs> the sound effect is the flies, but oh my gosh. Oh, what do you suppose I should do, Miss Gumdrops? Oh, you poor, poor child. I don't know how to tell you this. Tell me what, ma'am. I can take it. I'm a reporter. Lad, you may never see your doggy again. The pugs have an evil reputation for taking poor pooches in the night and doing things to them. Okay, that has very many connotations. You're gonna need to narrow it down. You don't want to know, child. You really don't want to know. Oh. <laughs> Okay. I have reason to believe that Ben Franklin is responsible for the weirdness going on here. Is that true? It is. He came into town dressed like a fool, all covered in beads, and he started passing out his foolish doctrine of personal mellowness. My neighbors and friends believed it. Before I knew it, they were all dressed like Ben. Then they started talking strangely, everything was groovy, and it gets worse. They all stopped working and developed bad habits almost instantly. Now they're all as worthless as a bunch of lame oxen. You seem like a sensible lad. You should go to Ben's house and try to talk him out of his foolishness. May you have more luck than I did. Oh, you tried to? Oh. Tell me about these assholes. I just couldn't believe my the dogs took my dog away. Are they always like that? You bet they are. They'll clap you in the stocks for looking at them wrong, and they've nearly taxed this town to death. To the death. Okay, that phrasing was weird. I like mine better. Okay. okay. Tell me about yourself. Health conscious? Heavens no! You could get anything you wanted here, from a strawberry tea cakes to airy cream puffs to chocolate bonbons. Mm. Oh no! Frack! They made me change the name from Goody's Delectable Delights to Ye Olde Sprouts and Rice. Humph! Can't even get chocolate anymore. Oh, how I miss the smell of bacon chocolate. Oh, that's really depressing. Could, could, could I use that? Can I ask about the jar? Can I... can I poke? Poke jar? Goody, do you suppose I could have this jar? Well, times have been tough, child. I'm afraid I couldn't just give it away, but if you were to bring me something in trade... I know! Bring me a recipe for chocolate bonbons and the char- chocolate- char- 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 The jar is a door, is yours! It's a deal! Okay. Is that it? Is that what it was? I need this jar. Was it this flies? Was it this? Green cookies? I don't think so. I- Okay, but they're supposed to be red cabbage cookies, weren't they? So they should be red. Or purplish, because that's what red cabbage is. Oh, can I- <laughs> Oh my god! They've been eating bean sprouts. They're really healthy. Um, what? 
<sighs> she has a nice smile. Aw, yay. Good job. Uh, cherries. Cherries. <laughs> okay, fine, we'll leave. We have exhausted the options here. Don't walk into the window. I can't go that way, apparently. Let's go back a thing again. Oh, wait. I should talk to this lady. Like, actually talk to her. I am 90... No. I'm 99% sure that's what these are for. Because I remember pissing the shit out of this lady. Pebbles clatter off the upper story window. Oh my god, that music changed. I'm very sorry. That actually genuinely scared the shit out of me. Okay, she got her revenge for all the times I messed with her. Alright. Who's there? Oh, it's you, you little vandal. Go away! Um, excuse me, ma'am. I really need your help. Oh, sure, you want something. The youngsters are all the same. If you help me, I'll go away. Well, I guess that's cool. I mean, you do have, like, the headband and the spangly thing. <sighs> Good enough, huh? Should have been more careful with your dog. Wow! You'll never see him again. yourself. Nelly Nettlesome. Like Nettles. Got it. The oldest person born in this colony. Literally crotchety old woman. How mean. Okay. The proprietor. I'm a truth, this lady. True! The women might have owned and run her own sewing shop in Colonial Mayo Kelly. It was uncommon, but it happened. Yes, they were called spinsters! Because men wanted to shame them for having successful businesses without being married. Fun fact! What was they doing? Leaving because this lady is insane. Not insane. Just very mean. Okay. Please... Don't have that crazy music come up. Right now I want to go this way. I'm pretty sure Ben's that way. So let's go down this street. Ah. New places. Yield pubs and eats. Oh. No one's ever lost money yet? <laughs> Yay, gamblers. They existed in all times, too. Let's talk to this guy. Talk. Talk to him. Genuinely? Does everyone have a theme song? Is that why I loved this game so much? I totally lost both of those things I was so incredulous, but it's fine. Roland bet much. Poker not gonna happen. <laughs> Took my deck of cards. No, oh, what do I have? Jacks? No. Chess? No. Checkers? No. Horseshoes? No. Hey, do you have a horse? Uh, no, but... Total bomber! More is turning dark. Oh, wait, I know. We'll play marbles. I got them right here. Ah! 
What? I lost my mar- <laughs> I lost my marbles! I just imagine him, like, screaming that down the street that doesn't have this background music going. Cosmic Cat. Can't talk now, I'm too depressed over the loss of my marbles. Well, I don't have anything else to do with them because this is a very simple game. So, stop making your music reset. They may be yours, but they may not be. I don't suppose you'd be interested in buying them. <laughs> You're a little sharpie, aren't you, kid? Uh, no, that's a brand, too. Tell me what you- tell you what, I'll give you the marbles, I'll teach you to gamble. No, I don't think so. I'm a reporter, not a gambler. I want cash on the marbles, bud. Cash? The kid, where's the sport in that? Where's the action? Where's the thrill of the game? Have- don't you have the game in your heart? You have all just lost the game. Nope. I've got air in my wallet now. Fork over the books, bud. Alright, here's a shilling. You little robber. I'll go fly a kite. I will later. Yeah! Now that ridiculous animation is over. Can you answer- Jeez. I just thought we were gonna have some chill, but no. My dog has been kidnapped and hey, hey, hold it right there, Cosmic Cat. I don't know anything about anything. I keep my eyes open and my mouth shut. I'm in real trouble. Because you can get me in trouble. Look, kiddo. I'm not about to tell you anything that can get me in deep tofu with the gnarly pug. I just don't want to get involved, you dig? That's pretty chicken if you ask me. I didn't ask you, did I? Besides, a chicken is a noble bird. See you, kid. Wait, I took your shilling! You shouldn't- Alright, let's just change our music, please. Oh, uh, nope. You've got the name based on fat phobia. I'm willing to wager. Gross. I'm not doing that. Leg of lamb. I'm not hungry. Good grief, boy. How can you not be hungry? I'm hungry all the time. I'm uh, too sad to eat. My poor dog's been kidnapped. They never bring you more food. Well, if you have like a terrier, those are burden dogs. They'll bring you food. Generally stuffed. Wow. Oh, that's gross. It's like paused in the middle. Ugh. Ugh. God, God, God. Blasted uncool of them. Have some kidney pot pie, lad. It'll make you feel better. Nothing will make me feel better. Okay, can we pause it a different animation? No, why? I know Ben well. I was a member of his philosophical club. Junto? Junto? Okay, don't know that. It's a cool old gent. I'm sure, he's thrilled to help you. Of course, just as long as, just so long as he doesn't get out of his hot tub. He never gets out of his hot tub anymore. Ah. Uh, maybe I'll go get one. No, you won't. You won't leave the shop because this is how this game works. Why do you put up with the bugs? You know, march over there, kick their- I mean, toss them out. Let us add something, lad. I'm loyal to the crown, even when they send up noxious, petty dictators. You want to talk to me about dictators? Particularly a tyrant. Even when they tax you unfairly? When they treat you like a prisoner? Well, I admit they haven't given us a fair shake, exactly. You can't trust your king. Who can you trust? Mm. Mm. Tell me about yourself, General. It's interesting that she doesn't call him General Stuffed. Because you wouldn't call him, like, by his first name. I hate the blasted little baubles. Wretched things. I like to shoot them out of a cannon into the box. <laughs> blasted match. <laughs> Um, 
except Ben Franklin never did any, like, actual commanding. Okay, yeah, I'm done with you. We're, we're walking away from this. I don't have anything for you anyway. Alright, I think I have that shilling. I do have a shilling. Talk to me about this shilling. It's a shilling. Great. <laughs> Fantastic. It's great. Who we got here? Whoa. You are epic. Coins? Coins. Mel, who's that? Oh, a short person. Go oh, ahead, busy. I think these beautiful coins get cold. If you want my money, you can have it. It's mine. Mine, I tell you. Lady, I don't want your money, I swear. I'm just looking for my lost dog. Well, I suppose so, if it won't cost me anything. Penny Pincher, yeah. What is your shop? I should have looked at the sign. My poor dog was snatched right out from under my nose, ma'am. I don't really know what to do. Is there a police officer in town I can talk to? Don't follow your groove, kid. What's that mean? Someone who makes sure people aren't breaking the law. Oh, those cats. Well, there's awful redcoat sentries all over the place. You ever notice how they all look alike? Anyway, General Punk owns those dudes. They're useless. So is the watchman, for that matter. The punks bribed him as soon as they got to the colonies. He does anything they want. That's... Yep. <laughs> I'm fighting out about Ben Franklin, ma'am. I don't think he'd be able to help me. He's a generous guy. Okay. Do you always talk to your money? Like, fair question. Thank you for asking that for me, Pepper. Of course. It gets depressed if you don't coat it and kiss it and stuff. Of course, you should never spend it. Okay, future billionaire. Just imagine, my poor little coins and stranger's purses. I already forgot who I passed her about. You get a cannon for home protection. What? With what? With what? You need to spend the money to get a cannon, woman. And why is she misses? had his name, like, follow the pun somehow. take a break because <laughs> that was a lot that was a lot for me to handle it is going to take eight years for me to caption this so you know uh so, so can i kind of there we go have, have pepper's blank eyes stare this vague direction and i will see y'all next time Bye bye